Listening to the underwater sounds of the sea is, a, is an effort to try to understand the acoustic environment of the killer whales that very commonly visit this island. We do that with underwater microphones. These are underwater transducers that are like microphones that are waterproof and they pick up sounds that travel extraordinarily well through the water. They pick up the sounds and then the sounds are pre-amplified by amplifiers that are in the water. On some of our hydrophones we select a very high frequency of sampling, a very high sample rate. We've been using 196,000 samples per second, which is four times higher than compact disc sample rates. And we're doing that with a system that's sensitive to much higher frequencies because part of our, our interest is in understanding what energy is way above the human hearing range where the orcas are quite sensitive. So as we look at a spectrogram we can, of a ship or of an orca, we can see pictures of sounds that we can't hear. We have built um, frequency-oriented tracking algorithms that try to, to figure out whether a sound coming in has a relatively simple harmonic structure, such as a note on the piano, or whether it has a complicated harmonic structure, such as a, a, a buzzy noise like something like that would have many, many frequencies in it, and sounds like that are not typically given off by the animals that we are studying. So we try to discriminate against them in favor of sounds that have a simple frequency structure in frequency, a few peaks, most of the energy in three or four or five peaks. But if the frequency is really random, then we probably think it's noise.